Hi, I'm Angelina. And I'm Matthew. Welcome, Welcome to, to our, our newscast. newscast. CCA had its UOB recently and the competition was fierce. Many brave contestants shared their feelings just before the question started. Yeah. Um, I've never done it before, so I'm a little yeah, nervous. I'm, I'm pretty nervous, but it shouldn't be much different than saying it's being nervous because I feel like I've done complete work in front of like the whole school. I'm really nervous because this is my first UOB. Nervous and confident, sort of, and nervous and scared. The GOB organization doesn't allow us to show the questions or answers from the event. So here's a selection of images. I never know, and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Yes, I think to myself. After many rounds, only Elliot and Raheel remained. You have 15 seconds. And in the end, Elliot won. <laughs> Raheel reflected on his extremely strong second place finish. Awesome. The only part which was weird was at the last questions, me and Elliot, we kept on getting them wrong. Which has never happened to me, so yeah. That, that was the most weirdest part of it. What does it take to prepare for an event like this? Oh, I did these practice tests during my free time. Just taking some online tests and just trying, just taking deep breaths and not being nervous. Just kind of like visualizing, I guess. I really had to limit my distractions uh, during the actual B, just to like focus. Focus. It might have been a coincidence, but the day before GOV, Mr. Loomis made a morning announcement about just that topic. Today's equal honor trait is diligence. Today's quote about diligence is from Charles Dickens, the famous author. Here is his quote. I never could have done what I have done without the habits of punctuality, order, and diligence, without the determination to concentrate myself on one subject at a time. Our champion, Elliot, described how he focused for this eventual victory. Well, the main things I did to prepare is that study corner quiz uh, that um, I always did in the evenings. Uh-huh. Yeah. And did you sometimes think of other stuff that you'd want to be doing? Oh, well, no. I usually don't watch uh, TV or play video games on uh, weekdays. On the weekends, like Friday night and Saturday and Sunday night, we uh, watch TV. But otherwise, during the week, we don't watch TV at all. Uh -huh. Do you feel like you're missing out? No. Many scientists who have studied concentration agree with Elliot that being able to tune out TV, video games, and social media helps develop concentration. One scientist who studied this is Cal Newport. When he's asked if he's okay without social media, he says yes, he's okay and... But I'd go even farther, I'd go even farther and say not only am I okay without social media, but I think I'm actually better off. I think I'm happier. I think I find more sustainability in my life, and I think I've been more successful professionally because I don't use social media. Social media is not a fundamental technology. It leverages some fundamental technologies, but it's better understood as this, which is to say it's a source of entertainment. It's an entertainment product. The way the technologist Jaron Lanier puts it is that these companies offer you shiny treats in exchange for minutes of your attention and bytes of your personal data, which can then be packaged up and sold. You know, we now know that many of the major social media companies hire individuals called attention engineers who borrow principles from Las Vegas Casino Gambling, among other places, to try to make these products as addictive as possible. Are you the engineer of your own attention? If you are, then you too. I write novels like Dickens and do well in demanding events like the GOB. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. See you, you next time. time.